the people there, um, just great people, no matter where you are and what area you're in. Um, there's great people everywhere. Um, even though they're, you know, what we consider to be like super poor um, and stuff like that. I mean, we would show up to new members or, or investigators' houses, you know, kind of at six o'clock in the evening. And even though like they didn't have a lot of food even for themselves, like they would give up like the one egg or the two eggs that they had cooked for for their meal and they would give them to us and so they would only have rice for their dinner instead of having rice with an egg um so yeah just incredible um love and charity from the people there um and that's just how they are their culture i mean when i was in ipialis i never went in a household without being offered you know like uh a hot chocolate or because it's kind of colder weather there or kind of an aromatica which is kind of like an herbal tea that it's okay to drink and yeah I mean just super super kind super great people um, I mean I know everyone says this about their missions but just when you get to know the people I mean you'll never never really want to go home I know for me um, when I went home after my mission, um, <laughs> it was kind of interesting because you always see those videos of missionaries coming home. And you look at my video when I went home and, you know, like, I get to the airport and see my family and stuff. And, and my family's, you know, excited and crying, give me hugs. And I don't know, it was, for me, it's like, I was, I was happy to see my family, you know, because I love my family a lot. But... I knew I was going to miss my, miss my mission and miss the people so much that kind of I was almost more sad than I was happy in that time because um, I knew that I was going to be with my family forever. I knew I was going to see them again. You know, I knew I was going to come home. But the people in your mission, you know, you don't know whether you're, you're going to see them again, at least in this life. You don't know if you're going to have an opportunity to return to your mission. Um, and just the love that, that you'll have for those people, um, just tremendous people, and you'll love them more than you could ever imagine that you would you would love someone. Um. So the Colombian culture is a lot different from American culture. The people there to start off are really humble. I mean, a lot of them, they make probably a good person to make about $15 a day, and it's not very much. And so they're a really humble people, but they're a really happy people. And that's just something that I learned while I was serving there is that you don't have to be rich to be happy. You can be happy in any circumstance that you're in. And so I love seeing you know the people and a lot of the common jobs there would be taxi drivers or bus drivers and it's interesting because when you're driving along in a taxi or a bus they'll have people there in the streets that trying to make money they will either perform for you when you're stopped at a stoplight it's like you'll stop at a stoplight and then someone will come out into the middle of the crosswalk and they'll start juggling chainsaws or fire or whatever or they'll go car to car with a w windshield washer and some, I guess, some liquid, some fluid, and they'll spray your windshield and they'll start washing it off. And then they'll, you know, go by your car and ask for money. Or some people will sell flowers. Colombia is known for having flowers. I would say a lot of the flowers that you buy in your local grocery or store are from Colombia because they just, they grow a ton of flowers there. So you'll, so you'll see people selling flowers on the streets or just selling whatever thing you can find on the streets there um, when you're just stopped at a stoplight. So I found that was really interesting and really entertaining as well because they would have a lot of super talented people. You're stopped at a stoplight and you'll see people jumping on each other's shoulders and you'll see someone, um, another interesting thing is that you would see someone just frozen on the street dressed up like a transformer or dressed up like a statue. And then if you walk by and if you drop a, a coin into the little box out in front of it, then they'll do some kind of animation or some kind of fun thing, some kind of interaction with you. And so I thought that was interesting that people will literally do anything to be able to provide for their families there. Even if it's in the middle of the heat of day, they will be out there working in the streets trying to get money for their families. Another thing about the Colombian culture that was different that kind of surprised me was that when you are in a car and you're closing the car door, you need to make sure you close it soft because I mean here in America you just you get out of the car and you shut the door and it's fine and you can shut it hard and it doesn't matter but in Colombia if you close the door harder than you know closing it softly 
those people will get at you for it. I mean, and it will be scary. If you close the door harder than you're supposed to, you'll get yelled at saying like, what are you doing trying to break my car? Um, I mean, I, I assumed the doors were meant to be closed hard, but I guess you just have to be really careful about closing doors in Colombia. Um, another thing about the culture is that people just love, they love telling you about their Colombia. They love their culture. They love their heritage. They love their traditional Colombian dress. Um, and wherever you go, you'll listen to the Colombian, the traditional Colombian music, which is Bajanato. And it's uh, a music that has accordions and it's kind of a happy dance music, but they will just blast this music from the streets wherever you're at. And, you know, some people in Colombia, they will have a bigger sound system than their house. I mean, that's all they care about. They care about their music and their dancing. And it's just interesting because whatever kind of party you go to in Colombia, whether it's a birthday party or a ward party or any kind of party, they just dance. And they are just a happy dancing people. And you'll go there and it's funny because people would ask me all the time, they'd be like, so do you guys dance in America? And I'd be like, well, yeah, we, we dance a little bit. And they would say, cool, great. But it was nothing like how they dance. I mean, with the girls, their hips would be swinging and the guys, their posture would just be super elegant and they would just do all these crazy things. And it's just something that I really appreciated about their culture is that they've just really cherished that um, culture of dancing in their dress and the music that they listen to. And so that's something that I love about the Colombian culture.